Hi guys, lately I've been seeing some messages about the key and that the key is not okay from Eric Dubois and so maybe it's best I make a video. If the message is not yet, has not yet reached you via Discord, Telegram or the new ISOs, right? Then you may have, may see something like this. At some point in time, Arsenix decides to make the Arch ISO, which is the application that builds the Arch Linux ISO. And at some point in time, they said, let's do the, let's have Pac-Man in its service there. And sometimes people get this and they report this and Arch Linux repo key is not unknown, key ring is not writable and people um, wonder, right, what's going on. Now, basically the Arch ISO theme, so the Arch Linux eh, and Arch ISO is an app from them has Pacman in its service. Where do you need to look? You need to look in system D, system, this one. It's basically the one that's going to say, let's initialize the Pacman keyring and so on and so on and so on. One shot, yes. And here are the commands, Pacman key in it and Pacman key populate. The thing is you wanted to update, you wanted to use Pacman and the Pacman keys too soon. It's a timing issue. The thing is still working and you are thinking that is ready. It's not ready, right? In the GNU PG, there is this. This should not be, well, two files. <laughs> it has to be like 20, 30 files. So if it's true what I'm saying and you reboot, and you take your time and let the machine do its work. System D boots up, sees the Pacman init key, says, oh, look at that. There is a Pacman init service. I'm going to run it. And then time passes on, right? And at some point in time, this guy, GNU PG, let's just wait for it. In the meantime, let's ask the system CTL and then status of Pacman init. Right, he's busy, yeah, doesn't say a lot at this point in time, inactive dead, yeah. Let's wait for it and see if that's true. If at some point in time, this process of Pac-Man key in it and Pac-Man key populate is actually finished and is actually filling it, filling this thing. So F5 maybe, let's wait for it, right? So GNU PG should at some point in time tell you something. At this point in time, nothing seems to be happening. I don't think we see anything like that in here. So I'm gonna see if something is running or a system D thing is running or something like that. Might say something on the system or not. Not really, I think. System D, nothing there, user. No, nothing to see here. Now at this point in time, it's still not working, right? Pacman init service is not finished. So if, if I type an update, I'll wait for it. If I type an update, we'll get this error. Public key ring not found, have your own Pacman key in it, etc. So what we solve it with, how we solve it is with fixed key. Now. I am amazed a little bit, right? Did I do something wrong? Should I do a shutdown? Should I do a reboot like that? Because after a while, it really should be able to get the keys and eventually, right? Should get that folder should be able, should be automatically filled in after running the Pac-Man init server. So there might be something else wrong i don't know let's see if it's going to fill so the gnu pg should be getting filled in should be filled in maybe we can show you what's my main machine right this main machine has the computer file system etc pacman.d gnu pg and there it is right how many files three folders and eight files so this is what we need to get 
at some point in time. So the question is, why is it not running? I don't know, why is it not running? It's still not running and I should put it in here, in here, um, in here. Let's try to get this thing to the other screen again. And then here, and then there, there we go, we're back. So the GNU PG should be filled in. Now, if it's not, we always tell you guys, fix key, right? Fix key, it's gonna fix the keys, definitely. And as you see, boof, it all gets filled in and that's what it's supposed to do. Now, at some point in time, Arch Linux decided to get rid of the Pac-Man init service on the future system. It still is there on the ISO, the DVD, what you, what you start with, USB, the archlinux.org website, that ISO still has a Pac-Man in it service, but it's not on the future system. So if it's not on the future system, why should you keep it? And that's the message of the video. Fix key helps everything, but this guy is here. And everything, every single time, it's a service, a one-shot service. Boot up, get rid of everything again. So initialize everything and populate everything. And it might be also the reason after this and after that, that this, these lines here are basically leftovers from the DVD, from the USB, the Arch Linux ISO, that this should not be there. And at some point in time, we said, okay, it's gone. We don't want it on the future ISO, but it can be that you have an old ISO, that you have the Iconix B ISO is from June, I think. So it might be, and I think it is, that it still has the Pac-Man in its service. Now there's nothing more easy than getting rid of a service. Well, pseudo system disabled. So sometimes I've already written on Discord, disable this service, right? If you disable it, watch what happens. This one is gone. But not only that one, there's one up here as well. So it's gonna be this one. So this is a, a symbolic link, it's an arrow, symbolic link to this one. And if I say go for it, delete it, removed ETC multi-user target Pac-Man init service. So this guy is gone. Now you can remove this one as well, but it's not gonna be used, I think. But the only way eh, is to test it again. So super X, we reboot. And the thing is, if you now ask the system CTL status of Pac-Man in it, does Arch Linux, does Arch Linux still know the existence of that? System CTL enable Pac-Man in it. Yes, it's still there. Is it enabled? Status, Pac-Man in it. Let's see. It's disabled, so it's not working. So basically, what I would do is get rid of that one as well. So sudo remove etc system d system and then Pac-Man in it service. Bye. It's gone. It's for sure gone. And if you ask now the status, then it says, huh? Pac-Man init service what? Could not be found. So now it's super correct. Let's do an update to see that all the keys are working. Whoops, no, thank you very much. If we update again, oh, sorry, if I reboot again, let's see if the keys are still working, right? Because that's the thing. If there's a Pac-Man init service, get rid of it, both places. And, um, if we update immediately, right, after booting up immediately, there is no Pac-Man init service that's blocking us now. The keys are already there. Everything is there. With fixed keys, we've made sure that the Pac-Man.d is filled in. And take a look at what's in here. That's what you need to have. If there is something missing, then something is wrong. There's one thing I could add. We put in here a lot of servers and maybe, right, maybe it's also important for you to tell him, go to this or that, 
mostly I'm using the key server from Ubuntu as that one seems to be holding many of our keys. So all the other guys are hashtagged out and I use for example port 80 or port 443 and see if I can get in keys for AOR packages that are out there. So that's another added value to know that Pacman wants sometimes keys, asks for a key, but the server can't be reached. This is not normal. Arch Linux does not provide these guys. We provide them, see what works, right? Depending on where you live and key servers are down or it's, it's a mess with keys. But like I said, the Ubuntu key server has, well, most the, the highest success rate to get my keys in. So there you go. I hope this was a little bit more uh, clear about keys. Basically, this video can actually go inside the articlenext.com. All you need to know about keys, let's see where we can find it. Here it is, keys and fix the keys. So everything you need to know about the keys, the Arch Linux key ring and the common, this is basically the fix key. Yeah? This is it. Huh? This is what we ran. Remove this, remove that. Here's the GNU PG, the folder I always show you. Remove everything there, then we initialize, then we populate, and then everything is there. So some background information and yeah, changes that um, happen to Arch Linux over the well, months, years. So if you stay rolling, you'll have this issue. If you have a new installation, the one from September is already in order, the one October is in order, right? We've, we've moved along. And so, okay, let's forget about this initializing of keys every single time, because if you boot, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till everything is loaded and then the keys are okay again. Voila, so there you go. Another video for this particular article. Everything you need to know about keys can be a challenge. But once everything works, hey, everything works, right? Cheers.